Hello and welcome to this video tutorial now with audio commentary. In this video we'll show you some very basic principles. If you follow these rules, these very basic rules, you will build better models. Models which are easier to modify, quicker to modify and easier to understand. In my video tutorial exercises 1.1 up to I think 1.13 I did all the roundings, all the fillets, all profiles in the sketch in just one sketch. Usually you should not do it. So now I will repeat the exercise 1.3 and show you how you shouldn't do it. Yes, okay, let's start. Go to sketch, select the plane. Please hide these projected yellow elements. Okay. Draw a rectangle. This rectangle is referenced with horizontal and vertical directions, which I just hit, so I will remove these references, these constraints, because I don't want them. Okay. Then make this one 80, this one 120. Make this one coincident, this one coincident, no, coincident, okay. Then make some fillets. Change them to the right dimension. Draw two circles, press the shift key so you don't catch anything by accident. Give them a dimension. I always use, use radius if possible. Cause the program wants for formulas and parameters a radius, not a diameter. Twenty-five. This one is fifty, forty, thirty-five. Too fast. And make extrusion, make it length 5 and it's done. So that's the way I did it before. Now I will show the one and only, just kidding, right way. So I insert another body, hide this one. You should always do simple sketches. Very simple sketches, edgy sketches, without fillets, without roundings. Only functional roundings and fillets should be done in the sketch. Again. I will remove these parallel constraints because I don't want them and I don't need them. So, this is a very simple sketch, very edgy without fillets, without roundings. Leave the sketch, make an extrusion, make it 5, okay? So I will do the fillets. One edge with ten millimeters, and there's another one like right here. You 
you could use the user selection filter or the magnifier. So I got this one, 10 millimeters. The edge above is 50 millimeters. And the edge below is 30 millimeters. Seems, yeah, too fast. <sighs> okay, and you can do it with two holes or with two pockets. I will make two holes. So let's make a hole on the plane, not on the face. Usually, you should do the hole on the face. It's 30 and the depth is 5 millimeters and the positioning sketch take the point hide the yellow elements and reference it to the axis Down, check the direction. Looks right. Let's see, works. And there's another one on the plane. Diameter is 50. Depth is again 5 millimeters. Change the direction. And Make the positioning sketch easy constraint. So now what are the advantages of this approach? So all these elements like this pad and this hole are independent from one another because I referenced this one to the axis system and made the hole on the plane, this one as well. So you got totally independent features in the tree. That's quite nice. So if you want to change hole, change, change this one or this one or change the pad and nothing else will change. That's the whole idea. You see? Okay. See you next time.